Hey boys and girls, welcome back to One Shot. In the last one, we actually completely finished up with the Barons, and we finally got ourselves into the Glens. And we're a lot closer to the tower now than we were before, that's for sure. And we had to get, say goodbye to a couple characters, met a couple new ones, but in this one we're actually going to continue on with our story in the Glens, and hopefully go the right way. And let's start by talking to this little robot here. Hello, person. Please, do note that the ruins below are partially flooded. Um, oh. Should we not be here? There is no immediate danger. Using this area as a dwelling is not recommended, however. Okay. Well, we do need to figure out how to get rid of the sun for a bit. Although we don't have an area yet, we will find one soon. A cluster of vines are blocking the way. Yeah, we keep running into these vines, but we don't know what to do with them, ever. Not yet, at least. Doesn't look like an item over there, so let's just keep going down. What's down here, anyways? Oh, hello, Mr. Robot. These vines appear appeared mere minutes ago. Really? I've been seeing a lot of them in doorways and stuff. I just assumed it was because this place was abandoned. A sign of distress. Huh? A living being is need of help. But I cannot trace the source. Ah. Uh. Can it be behind this, then? We do have this water sample. Does it mess with these vines, maybe? A cluster of vines are blocking the way. Yeah, they are. Hmm. It just said that that appeared just mere minutes ago. Maybe it's further this way, maybe? I have no clue where this, uh, where the vines are appearing from. Well, let's go down here. This is a weird-looking place. A lot of grass. Hmm. Maybe we can find the person down here, maybe? Yeah, it can- yeah, it probably is, actually, now that we have the vines here. Savior, I can't believe it, you're real. Um, miss, are you alright? No. We should get you to the village. Maybe they could- It's okay, it's okay, too late for me. But- The sun, I haven't seen it. I haven't felt it in so long. Savior, if it's not too much trouble, can you lend me the sun for a while? I... Will it make you better? No, it will not save me. I just want to experience the sun one more time. Before I will... Oh. Oh, um... Would it, um, would it be too selfish of me to ask? Eh, you can have it. I need to get rid of it anyways for a bit. So, hold on to it. What should I do, Devin? Give her the sun. Here. You can have it. I don't need it. Warm. I have almost forgotten. It's so warm. That's good, right? The vine should be gone now. I'm not afraid anymore. Oh, cool. So that's how we can get rid of the vines. Cool. Not sure if we need to, needed to move those? But... Did something. <laughs> yeah, she can keep on to that for a bit. We'll come back for that. I don't think we'll need it for a while. And as when she says the sun's not going to save her. So she's probably going to be dead when, when we come back for it. Hello, person. Two children reside near here. Oh, could the blue-haired girl be back here? The one we're looking for. The pathway is blocked by blocks. Literally. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like we're not going that way. But there was some vines on the left here. So let's go check that out. Because they should be gone now. Oh, it just leads back outside. Let's see here. Let's go to the guy with the rams. Also, apparently I can give my items to this dude, apparently. So let's try trading with him. Wait, trade this? Do you want me to find out what it says first, Devin? What's that, a book? Uh, not sure if I want to take books. I can't read. <laughs> okay, so he's not getting that. Um, Do we need the amber? Actually, wait a minute. Let's try mixing the jur- no. <laughs> I was gonna say because this has a, um, has a clover and this has a clover, you can mix them together. Well, let's see if we can give the amber away. I don't think it's right to trade this away, <laughs> Oh, hey, you have one of those coin things. I've dug up a couple of these before. Oh. Yeah, there's this guy who would trade me the best things for them. Oh. Like one time he brought me this little machine that plays music. I don't know what it's called, but you have to wind it up. 
A music box? That's it. I wish that guy would come back soon. I haven't seen him in forever. I want to do more trades with him. Hmm. So we're not giving this away. I wonder what we can trade to him, honestly. I haven't seen anything that can be trade-worthy. But maybe this guy will give me something. Okay, mystery. Oh, I see your hands are now free. Would you like to help my herd of my rams? There's a great reward in store for you, I promise. Uh, sure. Excellent. To the south is a peninsula inhabited by rams. They all, they're all standing in unfortunate spots. You need to move them into, onto the darker moss. If you get stuck, ring a bell. They're all returned to their original positions. Good luck. You said southeast, right? Just want to make sure. Oh. Okay. Am I messing with these rams or no? I don't think so, but... Okay. Um, so, South Peninsula. Okay, so where is that exactly? From where we are? Because <laughs> I actually have no idea where that could be. All I know is it's south. Okay, um, well, it looks like we're walking again, boys and girls. Hope it's not too far away from here. I haven't seen any rams other than those ones, but... Hmm. Could be somewhere. You never know. There's that girl again. I wonder where the blue-haired girl is. We haven't seen her. Since we're supposed to be searching for her. And also, I haven't seen a bell anywhere either, so... Yeah, where is that ramps? Uh, where could the ramps even be? Honestly. I'm gonna guess it's like all the way to the bottom, maybe? That's all I can really think. Anything over here? Nope, nothing. Well, there is a way to go downward, so maybe over here somewhere. Robots, more robots, um... No rams. No rams whatsoever. Where are you hiding, buddies? You gotta be somewhere, right? Like... <laughs> unless I went the wrong way. Yeah, I'm back here again. I'm gonna do a quick skip, just cause I don't remember where exactly... I saw some rams. I don't even think I ever saw any, to be honest. So, BRB boys and girls, I'll be right back. Oh, you're actually joking, aren't you? <laughs> Is this it? It's gotta be. Wow. I'm, uh... Huh. I... T <laughs> I thought they were in a different area entirely. Well, I need to reset that anyways. I did that completely wrong. Let's see here. Push this guy to the left. Maybe. I'm trying to think of this. If we push you all the way here. Actually, wait, no, I did it. Oh, wait, we can actually get in the middle, actually, now I think of it. Oh, never mind. I was thinking I could cheese it a little bit. Nope. Not doing any cheesing. Not today. So I need to push you right there. Go around, push you down once. Go, no. Push you to the right. Push you down all the way. Because now you're out of my way entirely. Push you left. Push you left. Push you right. And push you up. And... I just messed up. I just messed up at the last bit there. Are you joking? Uh, I had everything. It's just I did it too early. Shoot. Big shoot. Honestly. Okay, down you go. Let's just do this guy early. Okay. There we go. Now I can't mess it up. I should have moved him a lot earlier. And it's my fault that I didn't do that. And there we go. Okay. Do I have to do it again, or am I fine? Is it gonna- okay, it teleported me back. And also that ram over near the text box is still having a party. Just like he was in the last episode. You have provided a great surface for all the ram kind. In return, take this fine ram wool. Oh, um, thanks? Yeah, thanks indeed. Maybe I can trade it. <laughs> I don't have any use for ram wool, but maybe this trader dude does. He only likes shiny objects, though, so... Honestly, who knows? Here, have some wool. I think I have something I'd like to trade. You'll take wool, right? What can this wool get me? Wool, huh? 
That'll get you this fine vial of... I'm not sure what it, this is, actually. Some sort of fabric dye. Oh, um... About it, Devin. Um... Can I use fabric dye? Maybe. I need to write a... I need to write some kind of note, so honestly, take the offer. I'll do it. Pleasure, pleasure doing business. The reason why I know about that is because I talked to some, um... Guy that leads to the next area. It's over by the Vine Lady's um, building. The little guardian standing out front of it. He says I need some kind of writing utensil. And I think I can maybe make fabric dye into some sort of pen. If I get enough stuff, I think. How about this glass tube full of water I got from a robot? Do you like glass? Do I? Do you? I love glass so much. So much that I have too much glass and do not enough other things. I gotta get rid of some of my old bottles and vials to make room for new stuff. That's why I set up a train post in the first place. So I guess that's a no-go. Um, I don't think he's gonna. Yeah, he ain't. Maybe if I mix the... T nope. I was going to try it, but it doesn't work. Hmm. I haven't seen anywhere else I can go. I can't read this journal. Because this guy can't read. <laughs> Are you sure we can't combine the amber and the strange journal? Hmm. Wait, maybe we can mix the... Um... That kind of looks like we can make a stamp out of the amber, maybe. Let's try it. Nope. Worth a shot. Worth a shot indeed. Then what can we use that on? Strange. Can we talk to him again? Pleasure doing business. Oh, that's it. Hello, random ram. Wish I could bring bring you to your um, owner so I can get another piece of items. But that's not happening anytime soon. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do anything with this altar. If I'm going to be honest either. Huh. I'm completely lost, honestly. I'll be right back. I'll figure something out. Okay, I found a computer by running around inside the ruins where we found the, um, the vines that led back to the village. So, let's check this out. Hopefully this- Hello again, Devin. It seems I need you- need to help you again. What do you mean by that? Nico will not be able to progress otherwise. This time, the information you need has fallen to the most easily accessible place on your machine. Do you see it? Uh, no. I know you're not exactly that bright for a god, Devin, but this shouldn't be difficult. What? There's literally nothing here. What are you talking about? I'm literally on my desktop. Uh-huh. Just poke around a bit, it really isn't hard to miss. Okay, boys and girls, I'm back. I had to do a nice uh, cut because the game kind of called me stupid. When I have wallpaper engine, my background doesn't change when the game changes the background. And apparently it's supposed to change my wallpaper. Well, <laughs> my wallpaper didn't change, so I never actually got the answer for the puzzle. So it called me stupid for no reason. Well, that's the puzzle. I had actually searched this out <laughs> because I had no clue where it was. I thought it was a file. So apparently in this little area right here where we are, are at, which was in the same area, just a little bit around. You just have to go a little bit, just check around and then you'll find it. It's not too far away, but we just have to type that symbol into here and make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, one, two, there we go, and one on the bottom, there we go. And that's all we have to do, apparently. And there's the blue-haired girl. Hello. And now my wallpaper is back to normal, but still no special background that's supposed to be there. You saved me. Thank you. I was trapped in there for so long. So, are you Alula? You knew my name? Wow, the messiah really does know everything. Actually, I just met your brother earlier. Oh, that was her brother? <laughs> like, 
Actually, I don't think I gave, I think I gave them a decent uh, voice. I think I did, like, in between, for the most, most part. Oh, right. Gosh, Calamus must be wor so worried. Can you bring me to him? Yeah, sure. That puzzle was a pain in the butt to solve, not gonna lie. <laughs> I had to actually search for a little bit, honestly. I looked at my desktop, I looked at my do documents, I looked everywhere. It said the most accessible place. I had no idea where it would be. Wait a minute. How did you know I was the, um, messiah? I don't have the sun with me. Your eyes. Huh? They reminded me of the sun. Oh. That's why you're our messiah, right? Well, I... A lot of people in my back of my home world have eyes like mine. Home world? Yeah. I'm actually from another world, you see. It's a place where the sun is in the sky and not in the tower. Do you like this world too? I... Yeah. Yay. Calamus keeps saying how this world is getting more dangerous by the minute. But that's okay, you're here now. You can make everything better. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Well, well, uh, let's go find Calamus. Let's actually use our travel. Oh yeah, we can't be in a building. Never mind. We gotta leave the building first before we can fast travel. I think there's an exit up here somewhere. I do know where he is. He's over by the town. Really close to it, actually. Actually, we might be right next to it anyways. Nope, we're a little bit away from it. Let's go to the forest next to the dock. There we go. Hello, buddy. Calamus! Alula, you're okay? Thank goodness. Thank goodness indeed. I was trapped inside this room and it was really scary. But then the messiah saved me. Uh, trapped? In the ruins? Yeah. There was this weird stuff in the door. You know the floating squares we see next to the ocean sometimes? The stuff you told me to stay away from. What? It's spread to the ruins now? This isn't good. Don't worry, I didn't touch it. I'm not hurt or anything. Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. What is this square stuff exactly? Ah, oh, bad. Anything that touches them just sort of gets messed up. Whenever you hear people say the world is decaying, that's what they meant. Honestly, you should avoid them too. Um, I will. Anyway, uh... I can't thank you enough for rescuing my sister, Savior. Well, just call me Nico. Oh gosh, would it not be... Would it not be rude just to call you by your name? Huh? Why would it be? I mean, I'm just a kid like you guys. Huh. Then, would you like to visit our house, Nico? Uh, sure. Yay! Let's go! Yeah, sure, I'll follow you, I guess. Got nothing else to do. I don't have uh, anything to write with, so I'll just follow you guys. Oh, this is the where the blocks were. Oh, shoot. Looks like we can't get past that block. Seriously? <laughs> Thank you. We literally could have kicked it. I'll um, be up ahead. <laughs> I have literally never thought of that. Just kind of get used to it, all of the debris after living here for a while. Come on, our house isn't that far from here. Okay, right, I'll follow you. I got nothing else to do, buddy. <laughs> Looks like there's another path on the right, though. We should probably check that out. So, uh, welcome to our house. I know it's not much, but feel free to make yourself comfortable. Uh, sure. Um, uh, there it is. What is it? Here, we want you to have this. Uh, what are you giving me? Ooh, a feather. I can definitely use that. Then I think that's all I need, then. Oh, a feather. The edges are glowing yellow. It's a sacred feather from the Great Prophet. Oh. Yeah. She's this old lady our dad used to know. Her feathers can glow in the dark and she can see into the future. Oh, she's a future uh, seer. That's cool. Like Kind of like Zatu from uh, Pokemon. What? Or something like that. She gave one of her fa feathers to father before she died. Father wanted to pass this down as an heirloom, although it feels more fitting for you to have it. Are you sure? Totally sure. I think that's what Father would have wanted. Um, thank you. Yeah, thank you indeed. I already know what to do with that. Feather and the bo bottle of dye. Oh yeah, we can use the feather as a pen. 
I saw one in a picture book once. There we go. Feather pen. We can write now. Cool. That means we're ready to set sail, I guess. The back room is full of dust and cobwebs. Okay, so we're not going back there anytime soon. What's this? Ooh, it's a clover book. There's a clover symbol on the clo cover of this book. Hey, just like... Oh, my book. Gosh, I need to, s to finish studying it. Oh, my friend gave it to me for soul... Oh, that's him. My friend gave it to me for souls to stay. He's the one who wrote it, actually. He's also the one who taught me how to read it. Oh, I have a few more of his books somewhere. Cool, um... Let's try giving him the strange journal, then. Oh, by the way, what happened to the sun? I lent it to someone in the ruins. She said she wanted it to feel the sun again, before she... Oh, you must be talking about Maze. Is that her name? She's a powerful plant spirit. She used to protect the glen. But once the sun died, her health rapidly deteriorated. Oh. I'm glad you were able to find her in time. I think we might be already too late to save her. I know. But I'm glad she got to see the sun again. I wonder what happens if I mix both books together. I really need to finish this. Oh. Huh. I guess we're not going to figure out what this strange journal's for then. Well, let's go right, because this leads somewhere. Where is this? Hey! Hello. I saw you going to the courtyard, so I thought I'd tag along. Ah, uh, same. No, oh, you follow me. Not sure where we're really going to, but you can follow me around, I guess. It's a ball. That's mine. It doesn't bounce around as much as it used to, though. Eh, yeah, it's fine, I guess. Uh, what's going on in this room? Nothing. Literally nothing. <laughs> Wait, does it go left at all? Nope. It was worth a shot. Is that all that's here? Really? Hmm. How about the clotheslines? Oh, it's fish. 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 Okay, cool, fish. How about the bell? Ring, ring, ring. Nothing. Yeah, no clue what we're doing here. I guess it's just you can go back here and hang out with them a little bit more. I got nothing to do there, though. Let's try and get out of here now, since we can. So we gotta go find the Guardian. And also Maze. Wherever... Actually, we're really close to her, aren't we? If we go down here... Yep, here we go. She should be right over here. I wonder if she's still alive or not. She's probably dead, let's be honest. Maze, you still alive? Nope, she's dead. Very much dead. The light's gone out. Devin, do you know what happened? No. You really... But... But... Oh. What am I going to do? Well, the light's back on now. Oh, no. It, it lit up again. Phew. I guess if we put it down, it turns off. She's gone. Oh. There's something on the ground here. It looks like a kernel of corn. She must have left it behind. Corn? Hm, okay. I'll take it. Piece of corn. Not sure what I'm going to use a piece of corn on, but... You never know. It says I can use it as a seed, apparently. Based on the description. Maybe we'll find somewhere we have to, like, plant a kernel, I guess? Make some popcorn. For whatever we can find, I guess. Strange, but... Not that strange. Okay, let's see here. We need to... Travel... I think it's the gate is where we need to go. Yep, here we go. This is exactly where I want to be. So let's bring our feather pen to this guardian here. Devin, I'm too tired to go on right now. Please let me nap for a bit somewhere. I remember seeing a room to the west. It looked like it might be a good place to take a rest. Okay, so on the west. Um... Does that mean bottom west? Like southwest? So that means we need to head back over to the left side of the map. I don't remember seeing a bed anywhere, though. You really remember seeing a bed somewhere, Nico? I don't really remember seeing one, but I guess we'll take your word, buddy. We're on the west right now, kinda. We're over by the trader. I'm not gonna trade the colonel just in case if I might be needing it for later. You never know. And it looks like we have everything we need, so... Wait, maybe we could sleep in one of the, um... One of the rooms. 
You never know, there might be a empty house that no one's using. Can I use one of these? Nope. I guess it has to have the gold symbol on it then. Where could a house be with a um, bed? I need a bed, but I don't know where a bed could be. <laughs> um, I don't think, yeah, I can't even get to that one even if I wanted to. Can't get in that house either. How about this one? Okay, I'm guessing not the inhabited houses. Okay, I guess we're going southwest. No other place I can think of. So, southwest it is. Maybe this place. Um, it's a bed. Well, more like a mattress. You don't want to sleep on it? It's a bed. Well, okay. Yeah, he's not sleeping on it. <laughs> Where did you see the bed, though? I haven't seen a bed, like, literally. Oh, I think I might know where it is. Maybe it's at the beginning. I didn't really take much of a look. You never know, it might be. Nope. <laughs> Not here. Not here indeed. I might have to do a little skip, because I don't want to have waste your guys' time for me just trying to find a bed. Not much of a exciting adventure for you guys to watch me do that, so BRB boys and girls one more time. Are you joking? <laughs> That's what it meant by West. I didn't actually check this room right here before. Okay, well, let's go. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Uh, sure. Go for it. Don't- yep, my game just closed. Okay, well, back to Steam to reopen the game. Let's see here. One shot. Playeroo. Let's see what happens. What kind of dream sequence we get in this time? Hmm. A place with a clock tower. His home. Lots of wheat fields. Devin, I had another dream. Did you see this one too? Yeah, I did. I was in a big field like the one in my last dream. And I saw my village. But then I woke up. Huh. And I don't think this world has anything like that. I mean, big wheat fields. The one big plant, only big plant I've seen here are a bunch of weird trees, and those balls of moss floating in the water. Wait, is moss even a plant? Uh, kinda. Say, have you seen a wheat field before, Devin? Yeah, I have. Oh, um, they're really pretty, aren't they? The only one around my village goes around for miles. The plants are really tall, sometimes I can't even see through them. When it's windy out, the winds can make waves in it. It's like an ocean. Of uh, food. Oh wait, but there's food in regular oceans too. Like fish or, cr or crabs. I've never actually been to a real ocean until now actually. Me neither. I've been to the ocean. I live near one. That's really cool, Devin. I've only seen the ocean on TV before. I never thought I'd get to ride a boat though through one. The water back home doesn't have glowy stuff like how it is here either. Yeah, the phosphor shrimp. Um, but I guess it's because the world is already so dark. You know, I used to be scared of the dark, Devin. It's a little hard to imagine that now. Honestly, same. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I slept with a nightlight back in the day. Um, I did actually talk about my computer being a nightlight, but that was only because I don't want my computer to go into sleep mode because it's been acting up tremendously because um, of the recent Windows update. And I don't know why it even did that in the first place, because every time Windows updates, all my settings mess up, and I don't know why. It's a little hard to imagine that now, after spending so much time... Oh wait, actually, let's, re let's just read the whole thing. You know, I used to be scared of the Dark Devon. It's a little hard to imagine that now, after spending so much time here. But not long ago, I couldn't even go to sleep without a lamp. Me too. It's good to get over that. Um, me too. Really? Even though you're a god? Um, I'm not really one, but yeah, I guess. I see. But, oh, but it's a good thing I got over that fear. Otherwise, it wouldn't last long here. Then again, I've been carrying around the sun, so it's not too bad. And also, I don't feel scared at all with you guiding me. So, thanks for that. No problem, buddy. Anyway, maybe we should head out now, Devin. Yeah, let's get out of here. There's nothing left for us here. <laughs> let's select our little feather pen and we should be able to head further in. I found a pen, sort of. 
Good. Re please write your name here. Uh, sure. I'm not sure what I'm really writing on, but... Some kind of passport, I guess. Uh, good luck. Yeah, I accidentally selected him while I was, um, in between episodes. And sadly, I can't go back because the game autosaves. So I couldn't really reread through that for you guys. All he really told me was I needed a pen in order to go any further. So let's keep going. So this leads to closer to the tower now. I think it's called the Refuge, I think, is what I remember on the map. What in the world? Yeah, those weird uh, boxes we were told to stay away from. I'm not going to click on it just to, just in case. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. We need to get out of here. Big time, big time, big time. We cannot get touched by those, because as what we were told, it can hurt us, maybe? What a cool looking town. I like this town already. Big city. Big city life. Oh, we're really high up. We're higher than the skyscrapers below us. Ah, oh, the sun. Hello, Messiah. Welcome to the refuge. Do you understand what you must do here? Um, I'm supposed to go inside the tower, right? I already see the tower, so I guess we must be close. Where's the entrance? On the surface. The surface. Look down, small one. Oh, we're pretty high up. I guess I gotta get down a lot of stairs. Or find an elevator. Ah, uh, correct. However, the tower is a sacred place. Finding the entrance may be easy, but that alone will not be enough. What do you mean? Once you reach the surface, I recommend visiting the library for your needs. Um, alright. Thank you. Off you go, then. I wish you luck. Um, thank you, Mr. Guardian. Should we- I'm gonna go left. I'm afraid this area is off-limits for you. Only the bearer of the Sacred Colonel is permitted access to the Guardian. Garden. Ooh, Colonel. Here you go. I'm afraid- no. Oh. That's a Colonel. Come on. Oh, like a Colonel of Corn. I have this. It was left behind by the plant lady in Glen. That is indeed the Colonel. Then it is your duty to regrow her. Do you understand that? What you must do? Um, yes. Good. You may now pass through here to access the garden. Good thing I checked that, honestly. Because I would have walked right past him. What's going on here? Well, it looks like we're going up then. To the garden? There's really a garden up here. Oh, yeah, there is. Time to put the seed in the planter. Yep, put it in. There's no dirt in this pot. Will the seed really grow like this? Highly doubt it. So we'd need to probably grow her first before we can go any further. 100%. Well, at least we know that's there now. Because honestly, I probably would have been looking for a while. <laughs> well, let's head back downstairs, I guess. Not sure what we're going to be really doing it. Come on. Come on. Work already. Huh? What was that? I'm guessing uh, some dude found the elevator. Yep, I was right. <laughs> come on. Come on. I'm too busy for this. Uh, excuse me. Whoa. You're you. Oh, jeez. I didn't think I was going to run into... This is embarrassing. Er, um, is there anything, um, I can help you with? Yes, please. Um, would you- I would like to know how to get to the surface. Yeah, I was afraid you were gonna say that. Right now, this elevator is the only way to the access to the surface, but... Yeah, just take a look at it. Yeah, it looks busted. It looks just like an elevator. Well, you're not wrong, but... Go on and go look at the button panel. Let's see here. Huh, there aren't any buttons. Yup, that's a problem. There's usually a big button here that says ground on it. You know, because it takes you to the ground area. But now it's been ripped out or something. I tried looking everywhere for it, but to no avail. Maybe it uh, exploded. Do you think we'll have to make a new one? What? How? We'll figure it out. Yeah, we can definitely try to make one. <laughs> Don't know the first thing about button making, but <laughs> we can figure something out. Oh, here's the bed. It's a l I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Sure. Another dream sequence? 
That was quick. Game didn't kick me out this time, though. I'm just going to auto-close the game, honestly. There we go. And uh, let's open the game back up. Let's see what happens. I'm guessing this is the mother of Nico. Then Nico eating some pancakes. Maybe that's why he keeps seeing wheat fields. Because he really likes pancakes. <laughs> Devin, I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? Yeah, I did. She made me pancakes. I think it was my birthday. Because people already get their favorite food on their birthday. A whole lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? Yeah, of course. Oh, then what's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Wait, do you like pancakes? Um, <laughs> not really, no. Ah, uh, well, they're tasty. Maybe you should give them a chance, you know. My mama makes the best pancakes, and some of the neighbors make really good noodles. Oh, and one of our neighbors makes a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? Yeah, of course. Oh, do they ha share their food with you? Uh, nope. <laughs> That's not very nice of them. Our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. Everyone also takes turns doing chores and watching the little kids. I don't need to be watched anymore, though. I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Ah, uh, speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. Yeah, we really should. Hmm. I wonder if I was supposed to do that right away. Maybe I could have done that early then. Cool. There's those blocks again. It's blocking me from going that way. Can't go that way either. Guess we're just going down. Nowhere else to go but down. Completely. This place is really deteriorating, ain't it? It really is. Oh, we're in some kind of restaurant. Ooh, what's this? It's an empty coffee tin. I'll take it, I guess. Oh, hi there. Hello? How come there aren't many people here? Normally, cafes have tons of people. Yeah, it's a really slow day. Do you think it's because the ground access elevator is broken? So I've been told. The city's infrastructure has been suffering a lot, actually. Skywalks and stairs breaking off left and right. Now the only reliable way of transport are the elevators. Until now, anyway. Hmm. Milk and sugar. I like both, but not, not in coffee. Well, I, I like um, creamer, actually, I'll be honest. I do not like uh, milk or sugar in my coffee. It's nearly full. Yes, it is. What's going on with this metal tin, though? Made of aluminum says coffee grounds. Hmm. Not sure what I can do with that. Try it on the coffee pot, maybe? A coffee machine. It's nearly full. Yes, it is. Why do we have coffee grounds? Can we use the coffee grounds as some sort of, uh, dirt? Would highly doubt it, but it's worth a shot, honestly. Hmm. Guess we're heading back up, then. There's literally nothing over here. Can't go down at all, can't go anywhere. Only a couple places to go to. I came from the- oh no, I didn't. I didn't come from the right. We came from upstairs. So this leads somewhere. Lots and lots of different directions. A guy with a clock for a head. Good afternoon. Well, the time of the day doesn't really mean anything now. With the sun gone, the night never seems to end. Then how can you tell? Time, I mean. I have my ways. He's literally a clock, dude. <laughs> it's obvious. Hmm. Oh, another robot. I am the power room mechanic. Do you have an issue to report? Yeah, actually. The surface access elevator appears to be broken. There's a bunt missing, and... Can you go take a look? Leaving this room is not in my programming. Uh, never mind. Is this another computer? Some kind of computer terminal. I can't touch it, I guess. A tape dispenser. It's bolted to the table. Hmm. It's shiny. They are just bolted so people won't steal them. Feel free to use, though. Okay. Um... A stapler. It's bolted to the table. 
Not really sure what I can do with that, honestly. But I can use that for something later, apparently. Oh, we can go downwards. Here we go. Here's something. We can go right or upwards. Oh, here we go. Computer terminal. Let's check this out. You're going to need this soon. Take this film and expose it to the void. The answer will be revealed when you bring it back again. The computer printed out some sort of strange transparent sheet. What? Weird film. Whoa. Uh. I don't know what that means. Bunch of numbers. <laughs> Um, I guess we'll have to figure that one, uh, in between, I'll figure it out in between episodes, like, just cause I have to look at it through the video file in order to go back to that, but we'll go into that on the next one. A heavy piece of metal set into the wall. I think it might be a door of some kind of vault. There's a small screen here in the middle. Oh, here we go. Weird film. Oh, we can reopen it. Never mind. Weird, f uh, f screen. I'm guessing the weird film and the screen have something in common. Definitely, for sure. We're probably going to end it off here, because for me, it's technically 55 minutes, but I do have things to cut out, so... Thank you all for watching today's episode. In the next one, we'll be continuing on with the Refuge, and maybe even beating this game in the next one. There are multiple endings, and I think I have to play through the game again, because there's a new ending due to, um, I think it's called the Solstice ending, I think. And you have to play through the game entirely, as of what I can find out. And it has something to do with the strange journal. That's all I know. So, thank you all for watching today's episode. Keep being spooky. And in the next one, I'll see you tomorrow. And we'll be finishing, maybe finishing this game off. I have no clue. So, see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Hey, boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.